I'm going to demonstrate the difference between a V-stitch and an X-stitch. The V-stitch is a standard single crochet stitch that is generally taught and which I teach in my single crochet stitch video. Um, and it results in this um, V-shaped vertical, vertical V-shaped pattern like this going all around your crocheted work. The X-stitch is just a little bit different and is really easy to make, but it results in these tiny X's in each stitch which creates more of a pixelated look on your final project. So here's the comparison. And I like this one better because I feel like it's a little bit um, cuter, a little bit neater, but you can decide. To create the V-stitch, um, that's just the normal single crochet stitch. So to do that, you'll just go into the next stitch that you're working into. Um, and then you'll yarn over, meaning your crochet hook will go under the working yarn. Then you'll pull, pull up a loop, and then you'll yarn over again, and then you'll pull through the two loops. So that's a V stitch, and you've seen you just made a tiny V. However, for an X stitch, you'll still go into the next stitch like normal, but instead of yarning over like this, you'll actually yarn under, meaning your hook will go over the yarn, and you'll, this will be the loop that you pull up, so you'll just pull that loop through like normal, and then you'll, when you come to get to this step, you'll yarn over like usual. So for the X stitch, you yarn under first and then you yarn over just like normal. So actually, the only difference is that when you um, go in, you actually yarn over instead of yarning under. So let me just demonstrate the X stitch again. You yarn over. Uh, you uh, yarn under, meaning your hook goes over, and then you pull through, and then you yarn over, and then pull through. So you see you made a... It's kind of hard to see because I only made three stitches, but the last two are X's, and the first one was a V.